Are we surrendering space leadership to China and Russia? Explore these topics and more on Surveying the Cosmos. More draconian cuts hit NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in October with the announcement of 550 employees laid off. These cuts, along with previous cuts to NASA, are crippling the space leadership of the United States. The Jet Propulsion Laboratory is a federally funded research and development center in California that was founded in 1936 at Caltech, which now is owned by NASA. JPL has constructed and operated planetary robotic spacecraft and is responsible for the Deep Space Network. Some of the more notable missions of JPL include the development and missions of Voyager 1 and 2, Galileo mission that studied Jupiter, and many Mars rovers. The lab assisted in the research of solar, electric, and thermal technology development, police communications, fuel cell, and electric vehicles. They have developed and tested rockets, CCD cameras for imaging, and low-cost planetary missions. Since 1999, over 12 billion has been invested in more than 41 space missions, many of which are at risk of discontinuation, resulting in significant financial losses. The administration's proposed budget is to slash NASA funding below levels since 1961. When gas was 30 cents a gallon, the Berlin Wall was under construction, Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Gagorin became the first human in space, and NASA was only two years old. NASA has spent $25 billion in 2024, about one-third of 1% 1 of all federal expenditures. That $25 billion is significantly less than the financial bailout of Argentina of $40 billion that provides no benefit to the American people. If you believe that space exploration is a worthwhile cause, and we should continue using the $12 billion already spent in space missions, I encourage you to reach out to your congressional leadership. You can also join the Planetary Society, who I'm a member of. They have been advancing planetary exploration, defense, and search of life beyond Earth for over four decades. For more information, go to planetary.org for more information. The link is in the description of this video. Thanks to all my new subscribers for joining me here at Surveying the Cosmos. Also, this is my fourth year offering my Cosmic Calendar, 11 inch by 17 inch wall calendar featuring my top space images from my telescopes taken this year in 2025. It features key holidays and dates for celestial events, including dates for meteor showers, full moons, and the 2026 lunar eclipse. Proceeds of this calendar support this channel and thank you for your support. Until next time, clear skies.